What's going on guys, this is ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to import a full MAME set using the new MAME Arcade Full Set Wizard in LaunchBox 8.6 or higher. So this was recently added to 8.6, so you need to be on LaunchBox 8.6 or higher for this to work. If you've ever tried to mess around with MAME and kind of got tired of it, it's time to come back to it because this is going to make life so much easier. So the very first thing you're going to need for any of this to work is a MAME set. As you can see here, I'm using 0.201 ROMs split. I personally prefer split ROM sets because it makes it easier to update down the road, but you can also use merged or non-merged with this import method in LaunchBox 8.6 or higher. Just works with all of them. I personally prefer split. You might want merged or non-merged. If you need to know more about MAME, I'm going to leave a link to MAME's website. Go to their documentation. Read through this. There's a lot to take in for MAME. This is going to explain what the difference between a split, merged, and non-merged set is. It's also going to tell you about CHDs and all kinds of other information about MAME. This video here isn't a full MAME setup video, but as long as you have a MAME ROM set, you can get your games up and running in no time. So let's go ahead and get started with the process. First thing we want to do is download MAME. We're going to go to the website, download for Windows. If you're using a 32-bit operating system, download the 32-bit EXE. If you're using 64, download the 64. I have a 64-bit operating system, so I've downloaded the 64-bit here. It's a self-contained application. When you click on the EXE, it will automatically extract it for you. And it'll look something like this. So here's the EXE. We don't even have to launch MAME from this folder here. LaunchBox is going to take care of everything for us. We just need to set this up and import our full ROM set. But before we go any further, if you've ever imported any arcade games into LaunchBox using the old import MAME method, you might want to go ahead and remove all of those. I'm going to show you how to do that now. We're going to get rid of our arcade games and our playlist that were automatically generated. You don't necessarily have to do this step. You can update on top but I prefer a clean install, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of my arcade games and all of the playlists that were generated when I first imported my MAME set. I'm going to show you how to start fresh with your arcade import. First thing I want to do is delete arcade. Right click, delete. Yes. Okay, so that took care of arcade, but we still have a ton of playlists that were dependent on the arcade ROMs we had imported. I'm going to shut LaunchBox down. I'm going to go to my LaunchBox directory. From here, we're going to find data, playlists, and we're going to delete all of these. Right click, delete. And that's it. Your playlist and arcade are deleted. Now, if you imported them the old way, you might have an arcade folder under games. You can delete that or you can keep it. Depending on how many games you imported, it could take up a lot of space because this method will not create an arcade folder. We're going to store everything in our MAME folder. So it's really up to you. If you wanted to go through and delete your arcade folder here, you can. All right, so now that you have MAME downloaded here and you also have the ROM set you want to use, we're going to take all the ROMs out of this set here. Control A. Might take a little while. There's a lot of stuff to copy over here. I'm just going to cut. And I'm going to paste it in my MAME ROM folder, right inside of MAME that we downloaded. There's a ROMs folder. I'm just going to paste them right in here. It's going to take a little bit. Give it some time. All right, so now that all of your ROMs are copied over to the MAME ROM folder, we're going to take this whole main folder and place it in our LaunchBox directory for easy access. Now we have MAME and all of our games in our LaunchBox folder. It's time to start up LaunchBox and import our new MAME set. Alright, so it's time to get our MAME games imported. First thing we want to do is create a new emulator. We can do that by going to Tools, Manage Emulators, and we're going to add a new emulator. The emulator name, you can go through the drop down, MAME, and we're going to browse to where we place that MAME folder. It's in our LaunchBox directory, MAME, MAME64.exe. 
If you're using a 32-bit system, it might be main32. Double click. Associated platforms should be set to arcade. Make sure it's checked off. Click OK. Close. Now we have the main emulator set up. It's time to import our games. Tools. Import. MAME Arcade Full Set. This wizard will walk you through the process of importing a full set of MAME Arcade games. It also allows you to filter out games based on what you want in your collection. It's really easy to use, just read through it. You shouldn't have any trouble using this. Click Next. What would you like to call the arcade platform? You can call it MAME if you want, but I leave it with Arcade. Next. Please enter the folder path of your main ROMs. Remember we placed all of our ROMs in our main folder under ROMs. We're going to browse to that directory. So we need to find main ROMs. It's going to take a second. Scanning through that folder. There's a lot of stuff to go through here. When it's finished, click OK and Next. Choose an emulator. Main should already be chosen because we just created it. If not, Use the drop down and choose MAME. Next. Would you like to download metadata for your games? Of course we would. Search for game information from the LaunchBox Games database. This is recommended. Click Next. If you don't want to download a certain type of artwork, just uncheck it from here. I recommend just leaving everything checked. Next. If this is your first time importing anything, you might be prompted to sign into EMU Movies. It is free to use. I recommend at least creating a free account. They also offer a donation option, and it's totally worth it. Click Next. How would you like to filter your games? There's a bunch of different ways that you can go about this. For me personally, region to prioritize, I do world. Now you can use North America or Japan or Europe but I choose World. I leave the first one checked. Import clones as additional apps. You can skip the clones if you want to. Skip games unplayable in MAME. Skip hack games. Prototype games. Bootleg. I leave all of these checked. I don't want any rhythm games or casino games in my MAME set. It's going to skip all of those. If there's something you do want, go ahead and uncheck it. Create playlists for MAME subcategories. I leave this checked. It's going to create a ton of awesome playlists. It's going to be easier to navigate all of your MAME games if you have this checked. Create playlists for two-player and four-player games. I also leave this checked. And I also leave create playlists for genres like beat-em-ups, racing games, light gun games, and etc. checked. MAME is going to import a ton of games. I want to have as many categories or playlists as possible. It's just going to make it easier on me to find what I want to play. Now it's totally up to you. You can uncheck any of these if you don't want to use them, but this is exactly how I have mine set up. We're going to click Next. Ready to import? The name of the game. There are a ton of MAME games that we're about to import. This is going to take a while. Click Finish. You'll get a progress bar at the bottom. This can take a long time. I usually turn sleep off on my computer in my settings, and I just let it go. It could take an hour. It could take four hours, depending on your internet connection. There's a lot of stuff that we're about to import here, so just sit back and let it finish up. Okay, so LaunchBox is finished importing my whole main set. It did take a little while because I had to download box art, videos, and all kinds of good stuff like that. It's a given. It's going to take a little while to import that many games. I'm just going to scroll down here a little bit, see if we missed any box art. Definitely not going to go to the bottom because it's going to take forever to scroll down, but it looks like it did a good job here. Yeah, as you can see, I got tons of stuff. We also have the new playlist that were automatically generated. Two-player games, four-player games. We have some fighting games. Flying games, um, maze games, pinball arcade. These were in my main set. There's just a lot of stuff here. Shooter games. Just an absolutely crazy amount of arcade games. So I'm going to go ahead and start one up. I have an Xbox One controller connected to my PC. Let me scroll down here and find something I enjoy playing. 
what do you know? It's right here, X-Men. Just gonna double click, it's gonna launch MAME for us, and we can start playing. So setting up a controller in MAME is relatively straightforward. For most of this stuff, my Xbox One controller works straight out of the box. But you might wanna remap your controls. So when a MAME game is running, press tab on your keyboard. This'll bring up the MAME menu. Input this machine. So, as you can see, P1, that's player 1, P2, that's player 2, and so on and so on. For player 1, I need to map my up, down, left, right, my button 1, 2, and 3. I'm also going to need to scroll down and map a coin button and a start button. Press enter on the key you want to map, press it on your controller. It's as simple as that. So mine's already pretty much set up, I just need to make sure I have a coin button. Coin 1, that's set to 5. I don't want that, I want to set it to select. So I'm going to press enter, press select on my controller, and we also want a player 1 start button. Enter, I'm going to press start on my controller. Tab, throw in a couple coins, and we can get to playing. I'm just going to choose Wolverine here. It's really pretty simple. As you can see, got control of my character, doing some special moves. That's pretty much it. If you want to exit, escape on your keyboard, or if you have the premium version of LaunchBox, you can set up controller automation in the options menu. You may run into a few games that require CHDs to run. Like I mentioned at the beginning, this video is not focused on CHDs. Personally, I don't use them. There's only a select few games that I ever need a CHD for, like Killer Instinct. Most of this stuff will work straight out of the box. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you get your full MAME set imported and you're able to play some of these awesome arcade games. With the new 8.6 update, it's super easy to get MAME up and running in LaunchBox. If you guys could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching. <laughs>